in my college years, I tried to work with a team, studying together. I always, me being a very curious guy, I always ask, hey, why it works this way? Why it wouldn't work that way? What happened if you do this? What happened if you do that? And so on. And the person in the team, he said this to me, Rodi, just shut up and listen. Okay, just follow the formula and you'll be fine. Don't ask too many questions. What happened after that was, my brain could not think. I, whenever I tried to think, it was shut down. And yeah, ultimately I failed my maths. <laughs> yes, even the maths lecturer can fail the maths. <laughs> after that, I even tried to get the help from a genius guy, which I knocked his door and asked questions. And the next day, he locked the door and he didn't open it to me anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I know, sad life. But after that, one day I hang out in the dining room, dining hall, sitting with another group of people. I asked the questions, and suddenly this one of the guys, he answered the questions. Oh, he works because of the this, this, and so on. I was so shocked and I was so surprised. Okay, let me ask another questions, and he answered them in a way that I would like. I said, there are two of them. After that, I always hang out with these two people, trying to jumpstart my brain again, trying to get the right frequency. And Alhamdulillah, after that, I I got a good result, Sarhamda. Got a four maths. So what I can say is this: if you try to group study, hang out with people that have the same frequency as you. This is very important because I used to have a student who, in my class, he works whenever I teach, whenever I teach, he listened to it and it was like a light bulb. If you can see it, it become ching. <laughs> he got the idea. He got the idea. And when he got his result, he got an A. He came and met me and said, "Sir, thank you very much for teaching me, sir." I mean, the way that he expressed his gratitude is more than usual. You, you kind of know that. And ask him a question, what's wrong? You're always a smart student in my class. You always understood what I was trying to teach you. So what's the problem? And then he told me this fact because in high school days, he got C for his maths. So this is very, very important. Find someone, a team, that has the same frequency as how you think. Because it will jumpstart your thinking and then, you know, suddenly your brain will start working. And my second advice is find a team. Study with your friends together. I mean, there, there was one time when my friend and I, when it's near the exam, we have a night, we have a session, like two hours. We sit all of us together, five or six of us, and then we start to asking a lot of questions, and this person will answer that, this person will answer this. And when we enter the exam halls, when we look at the questions, we were like, huh, I remember what he said. I remember what he said. This question came out. Ah, 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 ah. And you felt like, oh, I'm so lucky that we, we have done that. And that person also said the same thing. I remember because I said that to this guy and so on. So yes, number one advice I always say, find someone that you have the correct frequency, the same frequency that you jumpstart your brain together. And number two, work in team, all right? If you, if you work alone, it will work, but if you work together, it will bring you further. All right, I think that's all. All the best, good luck for your exams. You have a very limited time, so study smart. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.